I've seen you and Katie and I thought, uh-huh. they're just doing this for the cameras. <laughs> Katie's not gonna let Risha, yeah. oh, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Must be the guilt. She's... <laughs> Certain people, maybe Joey Barton's one of them, want it to be a male space and that's okay. Whether you're a player, journalist, presenter, whatever it is, I don't think we're ever gonna go back to those days where women aren't gonna be around football. Hi, and welcome to Life's a Pitch. I'm Rusha Littlejohn, and this is Lucy Quinn. We're a bit delayed with this episode as we've been away on international duty, so sorry about that. We'll be catching up all things international in this episode. It's midnight, and she's taken weeks to eat this shite. We were also joined by our first ever guest, the legendary Ali McCoyce, courtesy of TNT Sports. Right, I know, obviously, you're... Let's say, obviously, you look great, you're looking fresh, but obviously, you're ancient, you're ancient, right? Correct. So we're rolling back the years here when you're Correct. at these tournaments. Right, okay, let's get straight in it. Red card of the week. Are you going first? We've been busy, we've been busy, so there's loads to talk about. I feel like um, you're eager to go first. Okay. I'm not really. Oh. If you want my red card right now, I'll say I've had my team night out, okay, so I'm not feeling the best. She's not looking the mm-hmm. best either. Do I not? Yeah, the lights will probably help me. Yeah. But, um, but I'm going to go with my red card. So I was buzzing for this. The Arsenal-Villa game. Right. was on TV, it was a 5.30 kick off and I was buzzing to watch it, yes. okay? Driving home in the car with Dan and Mitch and got home, had a nap, <laughs> then went to watch the game. I'd missed the first half an hour, so I got 15 minutes before half time. Right. This is a bit that really got to me. It's really annoying me. I thought, I'm just going to dry my hair, have my hair ready, and then I'll watch the second half. Uh-huh. Went and dried my hair, straightened my hair, and then I forgot about the game. <laughs> it was like... The back at eight at night, and then I was just looking and I seen the results, and I was like, oh my God, I was supposed to watch the game. I went to watch the game. I went and dried my hair and then forgot to watch the game. How does that happen? So you've missed an entire game yeah. because of old age. Yeah. That's what your red card is going to. Yeah. But is it old age? What is it? It happens a lot to me now. You forget a lot. Uh-huh. I feel like people, if you're watching, if there's any help out there, please get in touch. <laughs> I think it is old age. What else would it be? I don't know. There's like, I've obviously, I need to be diagnosed with something. Right. I'm going age. I'm gonna go with GB's mm. failure to qualify for the football in the Olympics. Now I know this is a bit of a touchy stu- subject with you. Do you want to tell the people why that is? Yeah, I don't get it. Who right. we when did we grow up like from people like girls football here? I get maybe in America it's a bit different because they love Americans actually. Yeah, love them. Um, I just don't get it. Like. Playing at the Olympics, playing football, it doesn't make sense. You want to go to World Cups, Euros, and then, like, Team GB. Yeah, but if the opportunity is there to say, Rusha Little John, end of your career, looking back on it, World Cup, Olympian, gone to, to represent, it's just another, it's, like, I understand what you're saying. When you grow up, you dream of different things, but the, the 2012 London Olympics was a major turning point for women's football. Was it? There were big crowds because it was uh-huh. the Olympics and I think people watched it more and I think they had the respect and the girls did well and I think that helped trigger the WSL, no? I feel I just, like it was a bit of a catalyst. Right, okay, fine. But I remember how were you getting pumped up for that? Like, so say you're one of the Scottish girls but, and then you're standing there singing the English national anthem. Okay, well, I just different. don't get it. That's yeah, different. but I just, all that comes in there for me, I don't get it. I don't okay. understand it. Okay, well, I'm giving uh-huh. my red card to <laughs> it because before we fight live on the pod, I'm giving my red card to it because I don't understand how England have been so in control through all different competitions, such a good team at the minute, have won 6 0 and then failed to qualify. So those players now, let's talk about Scottish players, Northern Irish players, Welsh players that had the chance to go maybe as part of an Olympic squad to an Olympics. England have won 6 nil. Got some other results as well. Obviously have, what, have they lost? Did they lose some games? Drew a game? Anyway, mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. They, were in, they were in position to yeah. go to the Olympics and now that's not going to happen and it's denied those other nations as well the opportunity to be part of an Olympics. Maybe it's for the best. <laughs> Maybe it's just for the best. No? No, we, I, feel, I feel like we can agree to agree disagree. Agree to disagree. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. So, let's talk about international duty, international break that we just had. It was, it was a pleasure to have you back. Well, this is Cherry Aid, Cherry Active Recovery Drink. It's good for stuff. Apparently. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to pour it into my juice because I piss the bed. It's. Yeah, but it does. It's 10 o'clock at night. I can't have a drink of it that. It does say clearly Honestly, on the label to my, dilute with water, but let's go. My cut about nine. 
and oh it's better it's nice is it it's better than some things i've tasted <laughs> My back was sore from carrying all the banter. I needed you to come back in. Um, how did it feel to be back in? Did you enjoy it? It was really good, actually. Yeah. Um, it was a breath of fresh air. Oh. Shall I say that? Yeah. Yeah. So let me get the champagne, baby. Hi. Hi. Really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of changes that's yeah. went on since I've been away. And then being back with the girls. Yeah. You can't really beat it, can you? You no. can't beat it, so it was great. And you can't beat six from six, you know, being back with your pals. Two from two. Well, in overall, the whole group. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you can't be coming into mm -hmm. a class team, is yeah. basically what I'm saying. And it was nice you took your black armband off that was back. For what? I've not been there. Oh. I should have been wearing one, actually. <laughs> I was wearing one. Were you? Yeah, it was just really, it was just, it was a hairband. It was small. <laughs> it was in my hair. Anyway, yeah, no, it was good to have you back. <laughs> and is that the most we've ever played together? I was thinking about this the other day. Is it? Because in the first game, I came on and you came off. Uh -huh. Which was sad. But in the second game, yeah. how long did you play? Like 60? Yeah. 60. Is that yeah. the most we've ever played together? What about the World Cup? When? Oh. No, sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, there was a game you started. Yeah, and I got pulled you off at half time. Thank you for... <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but you shouldn't have, remember? You shouldn't no. have. No. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell the people that. Like, yeah. She should have been on the pitch yeah. still. She should have stayed on the pitch. I felt like I was having an all right game. Yeah, you were. They wanted to just change it tactically or yep. bring fresh legs or whatever. Yeah. So that was probably one of the low points of my career. Really? Um, so thank you for bringing that up. Sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm doing all right. Yeah. Like, I feel it's like good we're... to speak about stuff and just it get is, it off, just your to get off the chest. Yeah. Okay. No, like it was unbelievable to start that game, sing the anthem mm. and what a game and stuff. But I would have liked to play longer. But anyway, probably didn't have the fitness, let's be honest. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so 60 minutes is our mm. new record because that beats the previous 45. Yeah. Um, and I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy getting stuck in? I did. It was mm. really nice. Um, just been... Yeah, because for me, it's been a while then. It's yeah. been since the World Cup. Yeah. So it was just nice to be singer on a vein. Buzzing. Yeah. Love that. Absolutely belted that Always love out. it. Always love it. That and that's out. like now, that's the... You have to be, have to be like that. And the, one of the best things is, and people keep commenting on it, is when the camera comes to you mm. and you're so much louder than <sighs> everyone else. But yeah. You're always at a completely different pitch. I feel yeah. like we need to work on that. I know, sometimes Harmonize. though I get too ahead myself and I get like yeah. faster. Um, but when the girl Lisa Lamb sings it, yeah. she's got some voice and yeah. she really gives me the feels when she yeah, does it. Goosebumps. Yeah, goosebumps. It's when we get to the end and your mate yeah. like, grabs your yeah. shoulders and we scream oh. it. I like to think that's really intimidating, but we probably so. sound awful. Like yeah. I scored, which was always nice. That was good. You had a very good game, Just, didn't you? Oh, thanks. You were robbed, weren't you? You were when? robbed in Man yeah. the Match Award. Yeah. 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 Who uh -huh. won that one, then? Oh, shock horror, who won that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Blim and Al. Who is uh, voting for these? Yeah. Fans? Yeah. And Katie's mum. I've yeah. said that before. Yeah, but you clearly have... someone is. Uh-huh. Anyway, I was robbed. Yeah. Big win. 6-1 against Northern Ireland. Um, bit cagey to start, but it was always going to be like that, wasn't it? Super competitive. Fans there. Neither team wanting to concede. Um, lots of battles in the middle of the park. And then I don't know what minute was it that we got our first goal. You tell us, you scored. Well, oh. I'm not sure, but the 37... No, I'm not sure. I think it was around the half hour mark. Was it? Yeah. 38 seconds. 38 minutes, 19 seconds. Right, like go with that? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Um, took it well, though. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, took it well. Do you know what? I think I fooled the keeper a little bit. I wasn't sure if it took a deflection or not, but it didn't in the end. Right. Because as I've come inside, you know how you shape to, like, everyone at Blues calls yeah. me curly toe? Mm -hmm. I like the curly one. <laughs> yeah. You, like, bend it round. And I was going to do that, but I can't remember who it was. A defender came to me, and I thought, oh, I don't have that angle anymore. So I had to go, like, near post. But I think the... Keeper fell for the hips. Shakira, hips, hips don't, don't lie. lie. Um, think she fell for the hips and I managed to go near post instead. And then, yeah, so I'll take that one. Yep. And then there was an assist. You had an assist in Well, then right straight that. away, yeah. Heather plays a lovely ball out to me. It was a great run for myself, peeling away from the defender. Anyway, no, Heather plays a really nice ball through, but then just carries on yeah. her run. I didn't realise that. It was that. like a massive one-two. And then, yeah, I deliver it and she gets on the end of it. And then that was... Yeah, really quick succession, close to half time. I think that helped us because I think then we came out the second half of a bit of a spring in our step now. Yeah, but like I think in fairness, like fair play to Northern Ireland the first day. Yeah. You know, it was scrappy, it was yeah. battly. Um, but it was like once we got that goal, we just mm. kind of yeah, got us going. We got the second one. Yeah. So then obviously their heads are down a bit because you can't count them out. Like obviously you've got Sai, Simone McGill up, up top and stuff and like they were causing us problems. Yeah, it was nice actually at half time then. I'd realised Sai was off. Because she is their she's, main threat. She's a like, threat. she's such a threat. She's, she's... Do you know what? I'm going to give her a credit where it's due. 
I always knew she was a good player. Yeah. I didn't know how good she was with her feet. That was a loss for them, her going off at half time, I think. Yeah, definitely. A threat. Um, She'll be buzzing hearing this, honestly. I know. She'll Why are we giving her so much credit? I don't know. I know. Cut yeah. that. Yeah, anyway. Cut, cut that. She's um, crap. Yeah, she's you know, obviously Rachel Furness was missing for them too, another yeah, big player. Big presence. Um, but yeah, we're happy with how the game went in the end. It was nice. It was one, one of those though, it's like any time then, obviously got to half time, came out and it's like, it was just like both times we went forward, we scored. Yeah, we scored. Yeah. And that's Six just, different goal scorers. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. And, and they were... Guess who didn't score? Yeah. You. Didn't score. Yeah. Did you see my free kick though? Which one? That was decent. Oh. Yeah. I so thought... there was somebody in the stand, I thought you'd get in it and I just, boom. No. <laughs> They were going. <laughs> and you just... Out- I When you were stood over that free kick, I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. I seen you and Katie and I uh-huh. thought, they're just doing this for the cameras. <laughs> Katie's not going to let Risha... Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Must have been the guilt. She's... <laughs> but, um, anyway. But I didn't realise how far out it was. I would never take yeah, a free kick sorry, from there. Was- <laughs> it was miles out. It's not even- It was miles out. Um, <laughs> so- yeah, but my free kicks aren't that bad normally. Obviously, it just got to me. It was like a rugby conversion. Yeah. I thought I'm never that high up the pitch anymore. I, was like, I could tell. I could tell. The altitude yeah. got to you. Yeah. You got a nosebleed, and then you. But why was so high up? Any oh, funny moments? Every funny moments. You want to talk about? I do because that's really tickled me. And actually, you want to talk about me. it? You talk about it. So we're we're on the bus before we just headed off from the hotel to drive up to Belfast. Belfast. Um. I don't know why there was eyelashes. Yeah, why were eyelashes there eyelashes? Appeared? I don't know. Anyway, um, anyway, you put them on, didn't I, you? I got well, them well on they you. were they were put on me. Yeah, my eyelids feel so heavy. It's like it's like doing reps. You know what? One, that eye's okay. Two, <laughs> three. No, go and squeeze. Oh. I didn't really have a choice in the matter. Yeah. And we didn't do them properly, so they were just like <laughs> rested and I couldn't really open my eyes. Yeah. And then it was, oh, if you can keep them on for an hour and a half, we'll give you a tenner. And obviously I just needed a tenner. Strapped yeah. for cash. Yeah. <laughs> so I sat there for an hour and a half like <laughs> But I needed sleep anyway. Yeah. So, uh-huh. so don't anyway. don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> <What? laughs> to Life's the Pitch. Some that, people that say, is actually good. That one's shocking. Mm, yeah. Some people say that the podcast has changed me, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think I look great. No, you did. That Thanks. was that was after it was like the, the kind of shock at looking at you, looking yeah. different, and then I was like, oh, you actually look quite fat. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I thought, uh-huh. let's keep this professional. Sorry, 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 Vince. We're going into business <laughs> together. <laughs> okay, this podcast we can't have. But all the girls said that. Yeah. All the girls looked at me, and bear in mind they're like half hanging off. Oh, you look better like that. That's Christ, what do I look like normally then? Anyway, the eyelashes were good fun. But they bring out your eyes, don't you? Because you've got very blue eyes. You did say that, that was very nice. It probably uh, complimented them more. So we've had our first ever guest on Life's a Pitch, um, courtesy of TNT Sports. We had Ali McCoyst on, so we spoke to him, we caught up, and it was really fun, wasn't it? No, what, what a legend, by the way. Just like chatting to an old mate. Like, oh, mate. Yeah. That's well, obviously, true. you two yeah. were like pals. And I was just sat there, didn't know what either of you were saying because the accents were so strong. Really? Yeah. I c- caught a few words here and there, but mainly just looked at the camera. And... Ali. Yes. You're born in Scotland. Oh. So am I. Glasgow. But I play for Ireland. Yep. Uh huh. And obviously, I'm a Celtic fan. <laughs> oh. And you are not. You're the enemy. Well, well, you've picked the wrong weekend to talk to me, have you not? I know, I have, I have. But we're just trying to keep it interesting, <laughs> do you know what I mean? We want to just give you a bit of hope, false sense of security, and then we'll punish you. Well, okay? I hope you keep it going. Uh-huh. How are you feeling? Great, right? Do you know what I think? I watched that Kilmarnock game yesterday against Celtic, right? And just for the record, before you come back at me, Kilmarnock have already beaten Rangers there as well, and they've beaten Celtic twice. So Kilmarnock, not bad. But I don't think there's an awful lot between Celtic and Rangers this year. I think Celtic's confidence has taken a little bit of, of a dunt with Europe. Yeah. Right? And I don't think Brendan's got them firing all cylinders yet. No, I totally is agree. Is that fair? It is fair. I don't think um, we're playing the football that we played under Ange. Obviously, I think yeah. Ange was yeah. different gravy. You can see that at Spurs now. He's got them ticking. He's been brilliant, eh? Yeah. It's going to be a big game on the 30th of December. So, uh, you going? looking forward to it. I might have a ticket. I'm on holiday, come back from holiday, then I'm going to fly up to Glasgow, so I might have a ticket. Are you? I might have a ticket. Well, I hope your face is tripping you. <laughs> <laughs> to use a Glaswegian yeah, expression. Yeah. One of the se- like segments that we have on Life's a Pitch is we give a red card to something that's happened. So 
on the past week that you've just had, what would you be given? And this could be like you, football, anything. What would you give your red card to? Trains. Trains. Newcastle fans. Last train cancelled, right. I know. Last train <laughs> cancelled out of London last night. I mean, they've just been battered at Spurs. Yep, Big yeah. Angie's gave mm -hmm. them 4-1, right? They've made their way to the station, the King's Cross probably, and the last train's cancelled. That's poor. That is poor. That is poor. So you think about it, bad enough getting a 4-1, uh -huh. getting to the station, you turn up at the station, your train's been cancelled. Fair enough. So, I don't know who it is. Uh -huh. I'm low to get, I better keep my mouth shut in case I name the wrong one. <laughs> but that's poor, whoever it is. It's it was good up. for you though, did you not have a good time with all the Newcastle fans? Oh, Newcastle fans are brilliant. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're, a, bre not... they're a breath of fresh air, man. I'm going to ask you too, what about that crowd, the, the, the Arsenal game? Yeah, we just... 56 or something? Yeah. Oh, 50, was it 59? Yeah, 59, uh, they're just shy of 60,000, yeah. I yeah. think, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was saying just earlier, I was watching Match of the Day last night, you know when the attendance comes up on the bottom of the screen? Yeah. So it's like Everton-Chelsea, uh, unbelievable game, like Everton mm -hmm. really putting in a fight, and the attendance comes up at the bottom, 39,000 uh, or whatever, and you're like... Mm -hmm. And then the, the women's game, the earlier kickoff, yeah. like, yeah. unbelievable, like, and credit Amazing. to Arsenal, because they've been putting in the work to get it. Mm -hmm. um, get the tickets, get like, bums on seats, and yeah, just what a game as well in the end. That's your uh, new year, new year for you. What's that? What you see is some of the games, yeah. right? Oh, absolutely. Will you? I'm not going to any Scotland England games actually after the doing we go to there on the Oh, God, right. aye, that was a, so that was a, that was a yeah. But the girls have been doing it. I'm watching. I watched, I watched the last Old Firm game in the Taylor Rangers Celtic game. Oh, yeah. We, we, we went to mm -hmm. go down and then went to the kitchen, got back out, we're 2 1 up. So. Oh, really? No, I don't uh, watch it. See that? I'm, I'm N Ranger, uh -huh. no, N Ranger uh -huh. Celtic, you'd be the same. Yeah. Uh -huh. Table tennis, you watch it. I don't. No. No. <laughs> No. Well, obviously, we've just come off the back of the massive summer, the yeah, World Cup, yeah. and I have to admit, get a bit soppy, it wouldn't have been the same without Roosh. Like, we had some unbelievable laughs, some good stories. Great, yeah. So we were just wondering if you had any stories from any of your... Like, World Cup is brilliant. Yeah. I, mean, I was lucky I played the World Cup in Italy in 1990. I mean, the experience is, is, yeah, is yeah. fantastic. First thing, I'll, I'll throw it back to you two. Did the right team win it? Who did yeah. win it? Yeah. That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> it, was only, it was only a few weeks ago. No, this is the problem. In her old age, she's getting a bit. Uh -huh. It was it's not even you funny. Are you, are you getting older now, right enough? And I'm doing yeah. stuff like, oh, I'm going to do one task and then. Well, I'm, oh, you're asking that question. Right, opening game of the mm -hmm. World Cup. I've told this story before. Um, I'm rooming with big Alan McAnally and Andy Rocks was manager with Craig Brown. And they, they thought it was a good idea to take the segments of the team mm -hmm. and took the goalkeepers in, told the goalkeeper yeah. to play defence, midfield. So he comes to the forwards, and it was me, McInally, Mo Johnson, Gordon Jury, and Robert Fleck. And I'm rooming with McInally, right? Mm -hmm. And I've played in all the qualifiers, so I think I'm a certainty stuff, <laughs> right? Against Costa Rica, I think I'm mm -hmm. certainty. It's me your me, biggest mistake. Me and me go up front. <laughs> so he starts to read out the team, and the Rocks, which is, I say, World Cup, he says, tough, he says, can I please everybody? He says, but I'm going to 4 4 2. He says, I'm starting with, uh, tomorrow with Mo and Nally, right? And he says, Nally. But I think he says, Ali. <laughs> Right. So we are all sitting and I'm looking across this table. Right. Smug. And I can remember Craig Brown looking at me going, Get the hell coy, she's taking this hell of a ball. <laughs> yeah, what a team <laughs> player. I'm tuned in like, oh, I'm, then it, it drops, man. I think, what? I must have said Nally. Then he's dropping, man. I'm no player. Right. So, devastated. Mm -hmm. I mean, double devastated. Yeah. Straight up to my room. Who's your phone? You always phone your dad, don't you? Yeah. I'm die of I'm no player. Calm down. Oh, just you, you get next. Oh, die, he's not. Anyway, so I put the phone down and I picked up, I picked up and I said, do computer. I kind of look at him, man, right? Opening game of Warriors Cup, he's taking my place, right? He's my roommate, my big mate. I'm, I'm ill. So he kicks, he opens the door, right? He walks in. I'm going like that. I can't even look at him. So he's standing over there and he says, all you. And I went, what is it? He went, Get that light out. Some years I've got a game in my mouth. Nah, I wouldn't have. <laughs> genius. Genius. I mean, that's evil, isn't it? That, that is. is that's get that light out. Some years I've got a game in my mouth. I think I would have. Oh. <laughs> oh, you've got to love them. To be We're fair, we never had that problem, did we? Because we were we were sharing a room at times during the World Cup, but we played different positions, and I'm just much better than Rusha. Yeah. So we yeah. never had to worry about that. Yeah. Well, wasn't a concern no, at We never. She knew. She knew how it went. Yeah. There's a but, general acceptance. Yeah, here we are. Ah, no, just, we just knew each there. other's yeah. each other's boundaries, yeah. and, and that was that. Yeah. Right, any other stories from being there? Right. Yeah. I know, obviously, you're 
let's say, obviously you look great, you're looking fresh, but obviously it you're ancient, you're ancient, right? Correct. So we're rolling back the years here when you're Correct. at these tournaments. Tell us some scandal stories that went on. Did you behave? Did you go out oh, on the sauce aye. when you were there? No. You didn't? No. You're lying. Once. Fibs. Once? No, <laughs> Come oh, on. By the way, the greatest respect, we're never there long enough to go really? on the sauce. <laughs> I hadn't even found the local <laughs> and then we were already on the uh, way out. We are back after three uh-huh. games. Well, I've heard uh, Damien Duff uh, on a podcast and he basically, obviously, the Irish. Oh, they well. had a game and then they would go out and then they back, but obviously it was quite like a quick turn on them. They'd be out be- in between games on it. Seriously? Uh-huh. Tell you what, uh-huh. tell you what I did do right now. Um, when was it? Euro 92. Uh, we're in the group with Holland, Germany and Russia, but the CIS mm. is well known. So I get... I had to stay behind for the after the Holland game, opening game. We could beat one on. Bergkamp scored after about 87 minutes. We beat one on. So I get picked with Stuart McKimmy to stay behind and uh, do the drugs test. Right. So anyway, could I produce a sample? Couldn't he produce a sample? Anyway, next man, I swear to God, I think it was Ronald Koeman. He, the <laughs> Dutch boys couldn't produce it. There's a crate of lager comes in, right? There's a crate of lager comes in, so we're into the lager. Anyway. None of us could produce a sample. Wow. But we had to fly to uh, North Shopping for the next game to play Germany. So they left us, right? Me, Craig Brown, the team fl- away, flew up. So, so me, St- me and Stuart McKimmy, after we produced a sample, mm-hmm. had a wee night in Gothenburg at the hotel. Just, just <laughs> use? Yeah, just a wee night at Gothenburg. And that's all I'm prepared to say at this stage. Okay. <laughs> we've caught the flight the next morning. That's all I'm it's saying all right. at this stage. We've done well, because yeah. I don't think we'd make the flight if that was us. We'd miss many a flight. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't be saying this, should I? Oh, here we are. <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway, do you know? And my time's up soon, so get nothing to lose here. Nothing Mine's to not. Here. Mine's <laughs> not. So if I could not let her drag me yeah. down. Me. We'd, um, uh, where were we? When? I don't know. Belfast. Where we're Belfast, so we had our Christmas do. Um, and then I uh, had a little oh, night. Yeah. It was good. I got into bed at what time? Five. Late o'clock. Half yeah. six in the morning. My flight. Missed miss my flight. Should have been at the airport. Missed my flight. Got a flight then about four in the afternoon later. But this is a regular occurrence. No, yeah, but to be fair, we we Nothing were just talking. That. You know, when you had the end of camp and you're, yeah. you're done, you played both your games and it's Christmas. So we're mm. all just chatting away. Mm. Only got a short flight back over mm. to Birmingham, London, wherever it is. You just look at the time and you're like, oh, it's late. So yeah. you go to bed, God knows what time in the morning. Just chatting away, doing what she does. And I text the next day, everything okay with you, how are you? I knew the reply straight away before I got it. <laughs> Could have put, put my house on the fact that she'd missed her flight. And Sorry. she had, but she's here now. I'm here now. Didn't miss my training it. this morning. You've made, made it, it. You've I made it. Right. Yep. So, so tell me, where are our home nations going to be in, in three, four years? I know England got a very, very good seed, I get that. Yeah. What about Scotland, yourselves, Northern Ireland, and Wales? Well, we're on a, an upwards trajectory, I would say. Yeah, um, there's been a lot of changes. Yeah. Um, Obviously, the, off the mm, back of a World mm. Cup, you learn a lot and yeah. you grow as a team. Like you say, that that's the, the younger kids coming through, that's just going to be something that they experience all the time, hopefully. Um, and we've already seen that in our, in our group recently. We've topped the group, won every game. But then obviously you get promotion to League A yeah, and sure we're going to be tested. So I don't think we're naive to think it's smooth sailing now and we're just going to keep up and up. There are going to be like dips in form and dips mm-hmm. in results. but. You have to be in and amongst the best to, to get to that level. So, yeah, that's going to be a good test for us. Yeah, I think Ireland are doing it right now. They're looking after us. We've yeah. got everything we need. They're just, yeah. they're, Brilliant. they're really going for it. It's actually a shame for the Scottish girls. Yeah. I feel like the, uh, the SFA aren't helping them the way they should be. Why is that? And they've got a talented bunch of players, mm. like such a good group of players. Yeah, they do. I feel like they're being left behind a wee bit. So, you'd like to see the SFA like, yeah. sort of help they them. They just got relegated from the top group. They did, I. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have. I'd like to see them be picked up yeah. a little bit by yeah. whoever it is that needs to help. You've got to say, the one thing you're all doing, I mean, the young girls now playing the, the game up and down the country is fantastic. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Isn't yeah, it? it's obviously, great. with yeah. England, the success that they've had. Great. It's hard to see as like another nation, but you wanted to see them win the Euros because you wanted to see that investment and obviously the Karen Carney review and stuff like that. And they are promising like millions of pounds. I played of... with Karen. Oh, really? Where? Uh, World Cup in Qatar with a game. Oh, yeah? We, oh, a great story, man. We played for uh, ITV against... Yeah, played, yeah, yeah. Played talk sport. Oh, right, right. okay. Uh-huh. Talk sport boys. There's no, still no talking to me because I played with ITV. <laughs> to be fair, I looked at our team. Aye. Karen, mm-hmm. Gary Neville, Roy Keane. Yeah. You know, and it was a kind of... You know, yeah. Adrian Durham. Yeah, and, clear uh, choice. I, I, I think I made the right decision. Yeah. yeah. But she's a good wee player. Yeah. Very good. But obviously, she was a good player, legend good in the game yeah. and has seen it go mm. in the past mm. 10 years just yeah. on a different yeah. level. 
So yeah, there's loads mm -hmm. of funding going into grassroots yeah. football and um, PE lessons and making sure there's equal opportunities for the girls PE and football in the UK. And obviously I think we just need to see that happen everywhere. Yeah. It's been really good in Ireland. People yeah, are really, really behind it mm -hmm. and more clubs are popping up and more yeah. girls are getting involved and hopefully not dropping out. It's like um, anything, if you, you buy into it and you, you invest yeah. in it, it's only going to go one way. And that's yeah. one thing, obviously I'm not an England fan, I never will be, but the FA do it right. They mm -hmm. want to be the best and they, they just, they, that's like they throw everything in it. Wholeheartedly, they, they yeah. yeah. And they it might take it a bit of time. And actually, I think they've probably the achieved it much sooner than yeah. they probably expected, yeah. 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 Um, which has just been brilliant. So yeah, it just goes to show that if you invest and you believe in it, um, that's yeah. kind of the results you can get, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. That got a bit serious, didn't it? I did get serious. We went from, okay. we went from okay. me losing my place in the World uh, Cup to you being all serious. Yeah. Yeah. No. Sorry about that. No. Yeah. Don't know what happened there. Yeah. But we thought you might have given your red card to VAR and some recent decisions. Am I allowed another red card? Yes, you can right. have a, a well, double red card. Now, I've got to say, I'm the biggest hypocrite on the planet. Because right. I, I thought VAR would be good. Yeah. I need to tell you. Yeah. My, my thinking was that anything that rights are wrong yeah. must be a good thing. And sees more goals in the game, right. more exciting, right. right? But it's referee, it's referee in the game, and the referees yeah. are the referee in the game now. Yeah, it's making the game about them. It is. Yeah. And it's, it's, and it's, it's time. Look at that mm. Liverpool penalty at Palace, yeah. two and a half minutes, whatever it was. Yeah. Just, and the referees and, and, and their assistants, they're not making decisions now that they normally would yeah. because of VAR. They mm. know, well, I'll get that right, or VAR, somebody in VAR will tell me. Just yeah. let the referee referee the game. Yeah. And I, 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 and I, I was for it. I was for yeah. it. But go line <laughs> technology, yes. Yeah. Let's get back. Come on, let's. Mm -hmm. It's just the amount of mistakes that are being made. I think <clears> it's like, you just go back, let the rest ref. Yeah. And we yeah. all have to be a bit more understanding. Yeah. They're human. They will they make mistakes, make but you'd rather it. Yeah, because is, yeah. you know I mean? yeah. yeah. is it adding yeah. more pressure on them to mm -hmm. get something right yeah. instead of just calling what they're seeing yeah. and getting some things yeah. wrong? They're now overthinking every little decision they they're are. making. And can I ask you then, we've seen VAR in other leagues and other countries or in other sports, we've got the ref talking on the mic. Do you think that it's a case of we're just not getting it right here or it just needs to be gone from the game? Which would oh, you go I with? Gone from the game. But Altogether? I, I, I yeah. know, and it's not going to happen. Don't worry yeah, about nah. it. It's not going to happen. It's not. No, but uh, rug, rugby, they brought it great, haven't Yeah, they? I mean, you can hear everything and obviously the way they speak yeah, to the refs. Aye, well, yeah. that's, of course, that's yeah. a big thing as well. There's yeah. a respect issue is, which yeah. they've got in rugby, which we don't have. But the rugby refs, you might not agree with the decision they'll make, but they'll watch it mm. and they'll go bang, bang, that's yeah. what I'm doing, right? Well, try or no try. It's quick right? and it's clarified, isn't yeah. it? So I guess. It seems, a lot, it seems a lot simpler. But then you do have to you do have to acknowledge the fact that they're different sports. So oh, maybe it's just not as well suited to football and maybe we'd be better without yeah. it, I suppose. But yeah, we didn't yeah. want to get you all started no, on that. And you spoil my day now. Riled up, sorry. Right, so after getting back from international break, we're back in with our club teams. No rest for the wicked, yet again. Um, FA Cup weekend, we all love the cup. Um, sometimes. Do we? Sometimes. Do, we okay. do you know what was interesting? Because um, we were listening to the draw on the bus oh, in yeah. Dublin, do you remember? Lil's had it on. Yeah. And none of the championship teams drew each other. So we all played like different. I thought that was quite good. Do you think I'm that a... was a fix? Maybe, but it's I'm a bit rigged. bored of playing the same teams yeah. week in, week out. I so. did actually say, oh, we'll get Villa Ricky Town. You did we say got that. Villa Ricky Town. You did get, yeah. and how did that go for you? Yeah, okay, the game was not thrilling. Um, we were poor, actually. Really? I don't want to be negative, Nelly. We won 6 0, but we were poor. We were poor. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to gloss six over this. Didn't take our chances, but scored 6. No, no, it was terrible. It was a terrible game. It was shocking. Yeah, because you were in it. Yeah, was it? probably. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't a good game at all. Right. But job done into the next round. You get to the so next I round. Imagine though we've got Chelsea or Arsenal. Like, well, I think I'd have to... Oh, I'd be where willing would I go? for it. What do you mean? I don't know. Apparently we get like three days off a year. If you want to take them, I'll just take a day off then. Oh. Yeah. Oh, You're yeah, entitled like, to it, it's a lot. You, do get a, you yeah. do get a day off for like moving house and stuff. Yeah, or, but I'm moving if, house that day. Or you get pregnant. Yeah. Pregnant? Yeah. Think so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm having a baby. I'm not coming to work today. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah. Anyway, no, I think we'll deal with that good. when it comes. But it's London City, they might put it in the Emirates. Oh my God. It would could be 20 now or worse. No, it no, wouldn't. Would. Stop. No, it I'm, wouldn't. I'm being honest. Okay. We need to get our shit together. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> we need to. Girls, if you're watching, I love you <laughs> dearly. But we need to do more. <laughs> we need to dig deep. Yeah, dig deeper. <laughs> anyway. Come on, guys. 6 0. Yeah. Into the next round. Yes. Yeah. On that note, though, we had a team night at. Oh. And it was great. Oh, they see. Love restored. Yeah, so yeah. now you bonding. Yeah. 
Maybe that's why you guys aren't doing too well. Because I'm the changing of creep. Yeah, because you're, you mean? <laughs> you're always out. Oh, no, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, no, who did we have? Mil- who did we have? MK Dons. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Really had to think about that yeah. then. Um, yeah, that was an interesting game. They've got a lovely stadium there, by the way. Yeah, I was there for the Euros. Yeah. And oh, I went yeah. to a couple of games. Yeah, yeah it was cool. What a nice stadium. I don't think they always play there, but they have had games there, I think it's fair to say, as far as I know. Okay. So we were in the stadium, really nice, change rooms, everything, pitch, great. They had a little bit of a crowd, because obviously it's a cup, oh, cup okay. day. Um, and they were good, they were just resilient. They kind of sat in. I don't know if that was intentional or because we had quite a lot of the ball, quite a lot of corners. We weren't our best, but you know when you have international break and you've been apart and sometimes it's just getting back on the same page. Yeah. Um, and we knew that it was gonna be frustrating to try and break them down. They got stuck in, they were really up for it. And I think we only scored our first goal in the 91st minute. So Jeez. it was going down to the wire. And yeah. then Yuri, the, one of the new South oh, Korean yeah. sign-ins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not really sure if it took a deflection, but okay. something happened there. She scored one. Um, and then the 93rd minute or something like that. It's a cup, so we all want to see it. They get a corner, their keeper comes up. But then we get the ball and counter. Um, and Ivana, the Brazilian, she like runs with the ball and then like really nice shot from the halfway line into an open goal. If she'd have missed it, probably would have been quite embarrassing. But 2-0, but wasn't that convincing. They did really well, so fair play to them. So what we've basically gathered is we'll probably be out of the next round of the cup. We won't be going much further. Not us. Not us. Really? Yeah, we'll be at Wembley. Really? Yeah, and I honestly believe that. Okay. But I've also booked a holiday that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't really. And on that, there's been the whole thing going on this week with Joey Barton and what he said. Here we go. Um, he's entitled to his opinion, but the thing is, there's people like me and you coming up in this world who know what they're talking yes. about. Yeah. And he doesn't. <laughs> and I've seen him I've seen stuff about like, oh, Emma Hayes come on the podcast. Firstly, Emma Hayes will be on this podcast yeah, probably before she's first. on anyone yeah. else's. And she's probably not going to go on your podcast because what you've said. Mm. But and what's also, it about? If you're going to invite any female to come on the podcast to prove your point right, don't ask Emma Hayes. Yeah. Because I'd be terrified. Yeah. Oh, she'd go through you. Yeah, yeah. she'd be more intelligent yeah. than me straight off the bat. And then I'd be like... She's so good at speaking. Just yeah, how she, she is. articulates yeah. herself. It's like us. A bit like us. Ish. Yeah. yeah. She's probably not on um, our level, but... So yeah, no, it's... Look, it's one of those things. Mm-hmm. They, certain people, maybe Joey Barton's one of them, want it to be a male space, and that's okay. If you're threatened that much about it, you can live your life like that. But I just don't feel like they're going to scare us away. And I think they think they could. But as women, we're not having it. Whether you're a player, journalist, presenter, whatever it is, I don't think we're ever going to go back to those days where women aren't going to be around football. So as Emma Hayes rightly said, did you hear that? You're going to have to evolve or die. That's what she said. I like that. That was good. Yeah. Uh That was brutal. So I'm just going to die. (laughs) Oh, no, sorry. Um, <laughs> but she's, no, that was good. She's right. But I don't get that. My thing for me is like, as I, like, say I'm not a man, right? Could be. I'm not. Sometimes I'm. Sometimes I'm not. Anyway, if you have, like, say you're a male, but like, say you have a, a child that's a daughter. A daughter, yeah. Or like a, a, a niece. Like, yeah. do you not want equal opportunity for them? Yeah. I don't get it. Like, if that's what they want to do, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong. Some people, some of my friends are like, I just want to be a mum. That's what yeah. I want to do. Absolutely fine. You do that. Just like a male might want to do, he used knitting, or didn't he? Or ballet, or whatever you might think is more feminine. Like, why can't it just be like, yeah, you choose? But they, they really can't handle the fact. They're very threatened by it. Mm-hmm. And actually, what I really enjoyed was he the clip with Piers Morgan. Have you seen that? No. He used an example of something that a female commentator had said in a Prem game and then they showed the clip and that's actually not what she'd said at right. all. So he's just twisting things to fix his narrative, basically. And yeah. um, we're not going to allow it here on Life's No, Pitch. we are not. We do not stand for that. Joey. Right, so that's probably all we've got time for yet again. Chatting too much. Um, we'll be back in two weeks' time with our festive episode um, and we're wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. It's been real, guys. It's Thanks for real. watching. Um, like, subscribe. What's it? Share. Share, Share. the word. Share, Share the word. Spread the word. Get involved. And thanks for the support. Thank you.